Welcome and thank you for joining us for our Blue Christmas experience. This has been an unusual and difficult year, so we're glad that you're here. As part of this observation, we'd encourage you to grab a candle. We'll be lighting that as part of our time together. We know the holiday season is hard for many. You are not alone. Pandemic, family and community divisions, natural disasters. Christianity does not dismiss or shy away from these difficult realities. God knows and is with you in your grief, anxiety, and pain. We begin in prayer. Lord, we hear in these ancient words of Isaiah, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. On those who live in the land of deep shadow, a light has shone. We are reminded in these words, Lord, that your people long ago, just like us today, suffered, struggled with grief, anxiety, and pain. They felt overwhelmed and uncertain. Yet, Lord, you reassured them of your unconditional love and your presence with them always. So, Lord, we pray in our blue Christmas experience, you would reassure us of your unconditional love and your presence with us always. We pray this, Jesus, in your name. Amen. You keep track of all my sorrows. You have collected all my tears in your bottle. You have recorded each one in your book. My enemies will retreat when I call to you for help. This I know. God is on my side. I praise God for what he has promised. Yes, I praise the Lord for what he has promised. I trust in God. So why should I be afraid? What can mere mortals do to me? Well, let's talk about tears. Happy tears, angry tears, sad tears. It's human to cry. And sometimes life's chronic sorrows become like an unwelcomed house guest who refuses to leave. But other times life's sorrows and hurts or like a meteor that comes crashing onto the earth that leaves a deep crater in our soul. And other times, we don't even know why we're crying. We're just crying. We can't even stop crying. It's human to cry, to shed tears. We, we shed tears because of the end of an engagement or the end of a marriage, the loss of someone we know, we shed tears because we have cancer, or someone we know has cancer, or a chronic illness. Or this year, 2020, the COVID pandemic, isolation, uncertainties, anxieties, even the death of a dream. We sh all shed tears. In fact, we've shed tears since the time we were born. Believe it or not, Humans shed about 30 gallons of tears every year. We all shed tears. Now, some of us like to try to hold those tears back so a sign of strength, and others of us, those tears just come gushing forth without stopping. And some of us, those tears are an outward expression of our grief, our anxiety, our pain. And others of us, perhaps you, you know, really hold those tears deep within ourselves. However you cry, whether your tears are on the outside or deep within you, it's human to cry. It's human to shed tears. And our Christian faith does not shy away from the reality of the grief and anxiety and the pain of life. In fact, if we look into the Psalms, there we especially see one who was very human, one who dealt with the reality of grief, anxiety, and pain in his life, that of David. 
We heard the words of the psalmist just a little earlier as he's crying out to God in his struggles. Because sometimes when we are struggling, we feel like, does God really care? Does God even know that I'm hurting, that I'm struggling? And David asks these questions of himself and expresses this struggle in the psalm. And then he goes on to say this beautiful words here, that God sees our tears. God sees your tears. He sees the tears you began crying at your birth. The tears of those early years of when you scraped your knee at three years old, the challenges and the hardships of teen years, the anxiety of your young adult years, and the complexity and the changes when we get older. Every tear you've ever cried, God sees. Now think about that for just a moment. The, the God of the universe, with millions, billions of people shedding tears, God sees the tears. And not only David says that God sees our tears, but God also saves them. Now, this kind of probably sounds a little bit weird, but in the ancient world, it was a common practice. They would have these little vessels that they would save their tears. The tears of sorrow, of bitterness, of anger, of despair, of loneliness. When a husband, a father would go off to battle, his family would shed their tears and save those tears in hope of his safe return. And he gives us a beautiful way to see God's care for us, his care for you, that he sees your tears and he values them so much. He cares so much for you in your grief and anxiety and pain that he saves those tears. He counts every single tear. Not only does God see our tears and save or count our tears, but God also promises in Revelation 21 that he will wipe every tear from our eye. And his words of the psalmist, the psalms where he says, I cry out day and night. My whole body hurts because I'm crying out to you, God. Psalm 130 he says, Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Hear my prayer, my cry for help. This season of Christmas, especially this year, the holidays can be more challenging. And as we celebrate the birth of Jesus, we celebrate the birth not by ignoring our grief, our anxiety, or pain, the loss and stress and uncertainties that we face, the tears that we shed. But by being honest, being honest with ourselves and with God, and knowing this, that God sees every tear, that he's count every tear that you cried, whether on the outside or deep inside, and that he promises in Jesus he'll wipe away every tear. In Jesus, God promises to you his unconditional love in his presence with you now in the tears that you shed. Pray with me, please. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the honesty we see in the scriptures that the folks who lived so long ago that they too, like us, experienced grief and anxiety and pain, loss and uncertainties in life. And that they, like us, at times felt overwhelmed and uncertain. And as you reminded them, as you reminded David, that you counted every tear that he cried, that you heard him crying to you and saved every tear, so too you see every tear that we cry you count every tear that we cry. And in Jesus, in his love and presence, you promise to wipe every tear away. We thank you. Help us as we shed our tears in faith to know you are there. In Jesus' name, amen.
I invite you this time to listen to these words, to light your candle, and to observe a few moments of silence. We light this candle for those who have passed away giving thanks for the memory that connects us to them in this season. We light this candle to bear witness to pain and loss, remembering even the smallest light can pierce our greatest darkness. We light this candle for the gift of faith and hope expressed in the Christmas story, waiting hopefully for the joy of Jesus' return in the end of all our tears. Generous and gracious God, we look to you for compassion and thank you for your presence this season. Overwhelmed by our burdens, we easily forget you never leave us alone. Your steadfast love for us never falters. By coming together, we find assurance and comfort. We do not suffer alone. Show us how to love as you loved when you suffered. You've given us strength to live through this season. Grant us the peace that comes from your healing presence. Let your compassion flow into and through us as we wait for you to redeem this season. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace.